Welcome back to Adventure Sphere. In this episode, we'll cover Edward Todd Thornburg, a man missing out of Ringgold, Georgia. Stay tuned until the end to hear our intended sonar search areas and have an opportunity to win an upcoming giveaway. First, if you liked Hide and Seek as a Child and Cold Case Mysteries as an Adult, welcome home. Be sure to subscribe because on this channel, those are the exact persons we investigate and try our very best to bring home to their families. So, grab some refreshments, pen and paper, and let's get to solving where Edward Todd Thornburg has been hiding. Vehicle license plates are in the video title. Next, be sure to download Google Earth on your phone and computer. It's a free program. It has more features you can utilize on a computer than what a smartphone has available. But for recording purposes, this episode is on my cell phone. Our email address is in the description if you need help on how to pull up older maps of an area. Donate to our organization through PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. Have information regarding a cold case or know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for using sonar, free of charge. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory and goes out to possible search areas. As a sonar search and recovery dive team, we focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area. Please keep in mind, though, that accidents tend to happen closest to home. Edward Todd Thornburg, then 35, is missing from Ringgold, Georgia. His last date of contact was February 9, 2016. He drives a gray 1997 Saturn SL with Tennessee plates A8418T. Detective Freddie Roden with the Catoosa County Sheriff's Office is 706-935-2424. The Doe Network has his date of birth as November 6th, 1980. He's a father of three children. He arrived at his parents' After recently moving from Cleveland, Tennessee, he had a pocket full of cash. He showered, left, and was never seen again. His Saturn is missing its front fender. The Chattanooga.com website has his address listed as 149 Karen Drive in Ringgold, Georgia. Was arrested on September 11, 2011 for aggravated assault, battery, and cruelty to children in the third degree. There is nothing about him on the Charlie Project. Some search areas I would like to sonar are the Chickamauga Creek, the west and south branches. There's a quarry adjacent to the Chattanooga Airport I'd like to sonar as well. Uh, the Tennessee River is probably the most likely site. It's, a, it's eight miles away from home, but it's the largest body of water, and men who suicide tend to go into large bodies of water. There's two lakes adjacent to the Roseville Recreational Area that might be possible. There's two Murphy Lakes, the Peavine Creek. There's a lake near the Boynton Church of God. There's a pond near the Cherokee Springs that could be possible. The Cherokee Branch and the Ryle Springs Branch. If you like this episode and haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel like and share our videos, and leave a comment of strength and support for those in crisis, missing loved ones, and their families. It helps us, the algorithms, and the families most of all. We really appreciate the time you've invested into watching our purpose come to life. It means the world to us, the families, and the communities we serve. 100% of donations received stay within the organization to help purchase necessary gear to reunite loved ones with their families free of charge. Your contribution alleviates the financial burden during one of their most difficult, bittersweet chapters in their lives. From us, the families, and public safety teams, thank you. To show our gratitude, I'll release a giveaway and donation video shortly. The first giveaway will occur when we reach 1,000 subscribers, and you must be subscribed to win. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and remember that we love you.